This past weekend in a small town in Arkansas, between four and 5,000 birds fell from the sky, dead. Really? Let's talk about that. Happy New Year's, happy two zero one and one Rhett. First of all, it's a pet peeve of mine. Happy New Year's. I was just trying to be, you know, funny. I, I don't know why I thought it was funny. It's, no, but lots of people say that. It's not, we're not, unless you're celebrating all the happy new years and all the parallel dimensions that are happening at the same time in the parallel universes, it's one year, people. It's 2011. I've never heard anybody say it. I was just trying to be goofy. You know me, trying no, to be goofy. No, lots of people say, go, do a search for happy new years. To me, it was kind of like my- Lots of people say it. My mother-in-law calls it Walmart instead of Walmart. So it's just it was just a severe misunderstanding that I turned into something that the internet was going to love, right? Well, it's the it's the new year. It's January third. Bada bing! It's Monday. Here we are doing something new. I showed up this morning and I told Link that between four and five thousand birds had fallen from the sky in Arkansas, dead. And I thought you were making something up again. And he didn't know about it because Link like maybe many of you, doesn't watch or look at the news on the internet, he is completely uninformed. Well, I, but he has me. But I don't know why you, I, I should be judged for that. You know, I, you know I, I'm not that interested in the news. You know, it's, it's not every day that a bunch of birds fall from the sky. Well, what if the world ends? If birds fell from the sky in large quantities in small towns every day, I would, I would, be, I would be glued to the news. Okay, well. So I'm not gonna apologize for that. Check this Please, out. Please, Rhett, tell me what you learned from the news. I didn't, I didn't tell you that today, or maybe yesterday, 100,000 fish washed up on the banks of the Arkansas River, dead. Uh, is it the same place? 20 miles apart. 20 miles apart? We got a bunch of dead birds, we What's got a bunch of dead fish. Some farmer did something stupid. What's next? What kind of birds were these? Dead hamsters, everybody's hamster starts dying. What's next? See, you're confusing the issue now. What's real and what's fake? There's no dead hamsters. I said, what's next? I'm predicting. Oh, okay. Or I'm questioning. So, the, you know. No, okay. For, like 4,500 birds, like all at once? Yes. What kind of bird? It's a black bird with a, with like a red and yellow, pretty, very pretty bird. Have you heard about this? They've heard about it. How big was this bird? How big is it? Well, I mean, I can't, it's a picture. I can't tell. It wasn't like there was a quarter next to it, but I, <laughs> you know, about like that. 4,000, I mean, that, like covering the streets, covering like businesses, tri triple, covering homes? Triple whopper size. Are they edible? I'm sure that people are eating them by the hundreds. So this is like a business opportunity. It's like manna from heaven. So, well, it's. Don't eat the birds, people in Arkansas. I know that you regularly do eat black birds that are not for consumption, but. Please do not eat the birds. No, the really, they, is, don't, they don't know how they died. No, everybody is theorizing today. How did, what happened? It sounds like a plague. It's, it, they really don't know how they died. I posed this question on our Facebook page. I said, conspiracy theorists go, and then I, with a link to the AP article. And uh, we have like 70 comments over at facebook.com slash Rhett and Link of people theorizing. One person said, Chuck Norris was in the middle of a roundhouse kick and farted. Chuck Norris. Funny, but probably not true. Maybe um, they're maybe they're just playing dead. Maybe it's a practical joke. They're all no one's to... looking. They're gonna like infiltrate businesses and homes and and take over. Uh, bird City. In one of the... visit Bird City. It's where the birds took over, and now you can like and, talk with them and play. And games. you put a little sign up in your yard that says "See Bird City." Yeah, and it's I like, like it. a, it's like a very dangerous amusement park. Don't eat the birds at Bird City. Um, so if the birds don't come back to life, uh, a lot of people are are saying that chemtrails. You heard about these chemtrails? No, I'm sorry, right? Well, once again, I, something I don't, don't know. Don't you remember that guy at the Davis, California Whole Earth Festival that we were at and he was like, he was trying oh, yeah. it was Link's connection. The guy who he named, named us. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Sequoia. What was his name? His name was like Dream Follower. His name was Dream Follower. Dream Follower. And he had a pamphlet and he was like chemtrails. Chemtrails are killing everything and I just thought it was the exhaust from the airplane, but it turns out that people- Because he showed pictures and it looked like Well, people who believe trails. in chemtrails say that the government and other government agencies are e ejecting 
chemicals from the backs of planes and trying to make you think that they're just exhaust trails. But they're chemtrails and they're killing birds and fish and people and. I'm going with Chuck Norris farting. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Okay, we're gonna be doing this video thing. I don't know, what are we calling this? What are we calling this? Good morning, Chia Lincoln. Why are we calling it that? Because I got a white elephant gift, which turned out to be my greatest Christmas gift this year. You know you didn't have a good Christmas in terms of gifts when your best gift was a white elephant gift, but this is amazing. Because mm -hmm. your name is Lincoln. Well. A lot of people don't know that. And you, and you can grow a green afro on you know our 16th president's head. It doesn't get much better than that. So as you can see down here. We started this just a second ago. Uh, you put a jelly and seed mixture. It's pretty yeah, much just you put the, the seeds in the water together and they make a jelly mixture that you see. That you, I, I might. Oh, you really, no, see he's gonna have a high concentration there. That's not good. Right on his part. But see it has his name on the front and then it has quotes, famous quotes from Lincoln. Leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. Oh gosh. Those who it's deny really freedom, beard. those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves. Those who deny freedom to, to, for dead birds to fall from the sky in your town do not deserve to die and fall from the sky themselves. What do you think? Trying to tie it all together. What do you think Lincoln would have thought about chemtrails? Let's look up the Gettysburg Address and see if he mentioned them. Let's ask him. I love chemtrails. That's a cereal, right? We're gonna monitor this thing every day, every weekday. So come back here tomorrow, Tuesday, and watch us again. Every morning. Good morning, Chia Lincoln. It may be a slow process, but we'll see what happens. My prediction is that there's gonna be green on his head within days.